Let's talk women talk. Hi, my name is Shirley. Today I'm going to talk about the well, how to stay relevant when you have a career gap. Whether you're thinking of going back to work or not, it's very important to make sure that you stay relevant during your gap years. Um, I divide out the fundamentals of staying relevant into a few sections. First section is technology. If I look at technology, very clear cut, make sure that your office skills, your Microsoft skills, for example, are still relevant. Make sure you know that what's going on, uh, you, you understand that what's happening in, in the market. And it's actually not hard to, to, be, to be very connected to technology. The power of technology is also uh, knowing social media well. Now, if I push technology a bit further, it's also going into pushing yourself out of boundaries. Sometimes you may say, for example, I don't need to learn about coding. I don't need to learn about website design. Yes, but if you can sign up for a lot of courses which are actually free right now, it's actually a good idea to go and sign up and find out what's going on, understand what happens, understand why technology has changed the way the world works, right? So these are the technological skill sets that you should be aware of. Now, uh, in terms of business, this is a big one. Bear in mind that when you want to come back in, what's going to happen is you're going to find again, wow, in that one year, the two years, so many things have changed. So I think knowing what is going on in your particular industry or what is new that's coming up um, is very important. Now, once you start to stay at home, you're going to find that your social network is going to be made up of people who are very similar to you. It's not a bad thing, but if you can find occasional times where you still try to hang out with your ex-colleagues, try to hang out with people who are currently still working, it's, it's quite useful because a lot of times, again, the same concept of how if you're too cut off, you don't speak the lingo anymore and you want to be able to speak that lingo. Don't wait till right at the end when you want to come back in and say, okay, I'm going to restart all this again. The chances are those networks may not be as strong anymore and it's going to be hard for you to ask for help. Make sure that you don't just have um, connections with your existing life, but also with your past life and the potential work life that you want to go back into. Try to build networks in that area and start hanging out with these people on a social level. Because I think when you want to come back in, it's not going to be so easy to just restart if you don't have these networks ready for you. 